Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. As it turns out, you're up next for March 2018. This is for the sign of Leo. I want you guys to use your common sense before you even start this reading because it might not be for you, okay? If you are in a happily ever after relationship, then you probably shouldn't be watching this reading because these readings are usually for people that are struggling in some way. It's a way to help them heal, okay? So this reading may not be for you. Just really keep that in mind. Generally, my readings are love readings, but we are going to see whatever comes up for this March 2018. The weekly readings will be love readings. And I wanted to thank you guys for not asking for this video. Uh, you guys know none of the Leos asked, so that, you know, that says a lot about you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And now we are almost ready. You may be starting to see the light in some way, you know, coming out of some kind of darkness. But you could be dealing with somebody who is very insecure. This person is focused on everything but love, money and sex, you know, and, and abundance and that kind of thing. This person is not focused on love, so I'm not sure if this is an energy that you're taking on during this month of March. Or if you're dealing with somebody that is very controlling, manipulative, only focused on money and possessions, per se. Um, somebody's not mastering their emotions. Somebody is not master their mass, and somebody is like st staying stuck. There's no forward movement here. Somebody, there, there's no forward movement. There's a lack of uh, security. All right. There's a lack of security, and I feel like somebody is tr is starting to see the light. They're starting to see the truth of a situation. Perhaps some kind of truth is coming out, because justice is truth. All right? Maybe there's a truth that is being revealed that has held you back. Yeah, there's a transitional period coming up where there's a transition where the truth is revealed. Absolutely. The truth is about to be revealed. It could be from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn because it's connected to that. That brings about some sort of uh, awakening light, you know, brings come, takes you out of the darkness, brings you to some kind of clarity that you were looking for, some kind of truth that helps you transition out of some kind of troubling time. Okay, so it appears that you guys are are getting what's due. Some truth is coming out that is allowing you perhaps set something free. Because this these are both like a heaviness, a heavy heaviness that is being carried around. So there's some kind of heaviness, some kind of burden that needs to be let go of, that doesn't need to be carried around anymore, that you've been holding on to. But it appears that there is going to be some kind of transition here where some truth is to be told. And, you know, it could make you very happy. This could be involving a third party situation. I don't know. It could be involving something. Something to do with love and truth. Okay? This is the Ace of Cups. It's reversed. But there's a lack of it here. There's a lack of uh, beginning in love. There's a lack of reconciliation of some sort because of this truth that is revealed. Hmm. Yeah, this is like, there's been some lies. This is lies. The Eight of Swords reversed is lies. I feel like there is... It's finally time to let go of these obstacles that you have been holding on to. There's been no forward movement. You've been holding on to some sort of lie. And I feel like the truth is about to be revealed this month. And it may force you to complete this cycle, whatever it is, because tens are a completion. It may force you to let down this burden that, why carry it? Why carry this heaviness around with you? Why? What good does it do? It certainly doesn't move you forward in any way. It keeps you back. It keeps you staying behind. This is the chariot reversed. It doesn't provide any forward movement for you to keep carrying around this burden that is really eating at you. There's something that in regards to lack of love 
some kind of lies, perhaps regarding a third party situation, maybe not, per perhaps regarding something, you know, maybe even it's your friends lying, somebody is lying here. Um, and it could be two people, two against one. I'm just saying somebody is lying. And I think that lie is about to come out because you're going to, you're going to come out of this darkness and the darkness is the lie that's been, um, kept from you. Yes. The truth is going to come out and it could come out quite harshly. Let me make sure this is zoomed in before we go any further. Okay, so, you know, it could make somebody angry. It looks like somebody could get very angry with this situation when the lies come out. So just beware. There is, um, you know, there's a lesson that needs to be learned that somebody is refusing to learn with this world card. Okay, somebody didn't, didn't want to learn this lesson, but unfortunately they're going to have to. Okay, because right now it's really a time of freedom. I mean, that's how you should look at it. It's a time of personal freedom. It's a time of liberation. It's a time of, you know, standing up, taking the swords out of your back and doing what you need to do. There's been some sort of betrayal here that is about to be revealed if it hasn't been revealed already. You could be dealing with somebody who is very uh, ruthless, conceited unreasonable okay there's some unreasonable people here in this queen of swords what could be any sign okay when you see the queen of swords reversed it usually has to do with an x okay any x of any sign so i have to tell you that there's some kind of i believe there's a third party situation here for many of you it won't be for everybody and it could be the x of your x or your partner's x that is causing some sort of trouble but the it's about to be revealed um There's a, there is, there is somebody that is being very petty, very childish, very, um, ruthless, okay? And it may be making you feel really lonely. There's a loneliness here. And you're being called to really step back during this time and, and focus. Really focus. I mean, what is it that, what do you want in love? Seriously, what do you want? That's what the hermit is. What do you want? Have you decided? Do you even know what you're looking for in a partner? Do you know what you're looking for? Have you really taken the time to decide? Okay? It's time for a time to step back. There's something that is going to come about. Some lie is going to be revealed. And you are going to be called to step back. What are you looking for in a love relationship? What is it that you're looking for? Because right now you're you're be, you're hurt. There's a lot of there's sorrow here. There's grief. There's heartache, and there's lack of wish fulfillment. This is the three of swords, the nine of cups reversed. There's lack of wish fulfillment where you're at right now. Somebody isn't happy in this situation, and they're they're me, being very unrealistic about the truth. They know the truth, but they're feeling bitter and angry about it. Somebody is. The truth is coming out. It's going to cause some anger. It might cause some bitterness. And somebody is in complete denial. Not being practical. Okay? Somebody is being very manipulative and controlling. And like I said, ruthless, almost like narcissistic. And there's a lack of love for oneself. When this card comes out, it means somebody in this dynamic isn't loving, loving themselves. When the Empress loves herself unconditionally and she does what she needs to do to prosper. She trusts her intuition. She has a lot of wisdom behind her back and she uses that wisdom to grow. She's very strong, but she's feminine. She's very motherly and nurturing. She takes 100% care of herself and she takes care of others with ease. And everybody looks up to her because of who she is. She gets by on her, her gentle demeanor. This is reversed. Somebody is not loving themselves unconditionally and allowing this betrayal to just go on. They're not moving forward even though they know it. Because they need to really take the 
take the time out. They need to take the step back and figure out what it is they love. Do they even love themselves? Who is it that isn't loving themselves here? Somebody needs to love themselves unconditionally and so that they can find the true love, but they need to love themselves first to figure out what it is they're really even looking for. I think you're dealing with somebody that is um, that has many, many options and you are being called to trust your instincts and it's time to refocus on what you desire. Both of these cards, with this one reversed and this one, it's time to refocus on what you desire, Leo. What is going to bring you wish fulfillment? This is the Nine of Cups reversed. What is going to bring you wish fulfillment? Is, do you even know? Right wherever you're at right now, there's a lot of mystery, isn't there? There's a lot of mystery. I think somebody rushed into something. They moved too quickly. Made an impulsive decision. And now there's heartache because of that impulsive decision. Somebody moved in too quickly. And now there's a lot of mystery and there's a lot of fear. Something is not all as it seems. There's some secret. This is secret. There's some secret here. That is causing somebody to feel very unloved or unhappy. You know, this right here is the Four of Swords reverse. This is like a maybe even dead inside feeling. There's something going on that is feeling, making somebody feel less than alive in this relationship. Put it that way. It's time for you to really, really, really work on what you desire. You have to put the hard work into what you want. And I think that's part of the problem. Somebody doesn't, doesn't want to put any work into something. But I'm seeing that hard work is needed in one arena. But there's no second chances. There's, there's like no chance for whatever this is. There's no chance. Somebody is in complete denial. There's something that needs to be shed. Somebody doesn't want to do it because that's where the work comes in. It's going to take work to shed this, whatever it is. And there is, that's the Four of Cups. This is the Four of Swords. It's funny that I said that anyway. Doesn't, it's the same. Anyhow, there is a, there's, there's, there's a dead end. There's a death of an idea. You, somebody has reached a dead end. And they're not feeling loved. They're refusing to wake up. Refusing to release. Refusing to accept the truth. This is an awakening. Reversed. Somebody's refusing to wake up. They lack the strength which is the sign of Leo so Leo I think for many of you there is something that is about to be revealed or has been revealed that has been being pushed under the rug and I think that you know it, that it probably can't be pushed under the rug for much longer and that there is going to be no more chances, because this is no more chances coming up, that something happened very impulsively, and now it hurts. So I feel as though this month is about mastering your emotions, because with these two cards reversed, somebody is lacking the ability to master your emotions. You are being called to find that force within you, to do the right thing, okay? To do the right thing, Leo. Leo, justice. Do you have the strength? Many of you don't. With this reversed. To do the right thing? Now, I don't know how this is going to resonate with you. This could, have, this could do with any part of your life, or it may not resonate at all, okay? So keep that in mind. Or you can continue to live in denial like somebody is that's watching this. Somebody is living in denial.
There's a lot of karma here. Karma, karma. A major life lesson that will not be learned until you do the right thing. The right thing comes when you take a time out and really focus on what it is that you desire. You take that time out to focus on what you desire. What are you worth? So maybe this month is about really stepping back, taking as long as it needs, it takes, whatever, to figure out what it is that's going to make you love yourself fully. That's going to make you shine again. That's going to make you glow. That's going to make you vibrate on a higher level. What is it going to be? What, what do you need to do to get here? Are you looking to settle? Are you looking for your life partner? I think this is a month of refocusing. I mean, it really is. It's a, and this one is too. This is, these both say that you need to focus on what you really desire. And those are huge messages. They're both uh, divinely guided. They're both major arcanas. You have a lot of majors here. This is divinely guided. You are being called to really, really think. That there's some unrealistic uh, things going on here. And somebody's in denial. And many of you are going to leave this video with a thumbs down and continue to be in denial. Some of you won't. Some of you do have the strength upright wherever it's gone now. Right here. But this came up reverse, so I'm thinking a lot of you might not. And I'm sorry, you don't have to like me. I really don't care. I'm here to provide you the messages that are meant for you. If they are meant for you. If they are not meant for you, then just move on. Do the right thing. Do you believe in karma? Do the right thing. Your heart knows what the right thing is. I don't. Your heart and your intuition and your inner guide and your gut and your mind all in one knows what the right thing is. And this fell out. Relax relaxation. Time to take a time out, like I said. Allow yourself to be lazy. It's okay to do nothing. Like I said, it's time for you to take a time out. Seriously. What are you looking for in forever? So this month is a month of focusing on your forever. Talk to you later, Leo.